That's the power of the cameras of life, people. Oh my gosh, no way. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we wanted to ask you, so what stocks would you recommend people to buy if they wanted to get into investing? So like, if you're looking to invest in into like the long term, which I know most people aren't, but if you are looking to get into the long term, I'll probably get into um, stocks like, such as like aviation. So aviation is a bit of a tricky one though, because aviation, you got to look at the balance sheet. By the moment, I'll probably say Air Canada has got decent balance sheet. Balance sheet. Um, when you say balance sheet, what do you mean by balance sheet? Sorry to interrupt you. That's right. So balance sheet is basically, it looks at how... At, like the companies, um, like um, companies. How do I explain it in a simple way? Um, basically, just says what um, how much money the company has, the money it has, liquidity it has, um, how much money it has in its reserves, its capital, markets, kind of stuff. So basically, just it just basically looks at like that. So when you're looking for in this kind of situation, you're looking for money companies that have a surplus of cash. So for example, if a so if a company has if a company has, for example, is minus two hundred million, right, on its balance sheet, I mean, it's not really making that much, and it's 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 under budget, right? It, or like or like um, that means that company will probably go bankrupt. So if it's got like, for example, this for example, the company's got one billion in its balance sheet, whatever, and for example, like United Airlines was basically bleeding or something like fifty million dollars a day. Right, so like for example, like you need to calculate, for example, like the that's what like um the American government gave them, I think something like six billion to help them like as a as a loan to help them keep afloat, stuff like that, and reduce so like they start reducing so like that that's what that like, this company start reducing their their staff, the planes running, all that kind of stuff, or and, like they do like um they do like um cargo trips to try and make sure like they limit the losses which they're, which which they're occurring. So if, for example, if they're losing that much money, that meaning when they go to zero, they have to borrow money from the debts and stuff like that. So if they borrow too much money, then they have to declare themselves bankrupt. So that's when the, the stock price, so like, that means they can either do a few things, they can either offer more shares to get more, to raise more capital, but usually that won't be allowed by, by, the, like, um, by like the FCA or the... Or, or, or the sec, or the sec, whatever. Um, they won't allow them to do that kind of stuff. But then, yeah, so I'll say Air Canada, um, the airlines, Delta, um, also look into cruise companies. So, World Caribbean Cruise is a good, really good one. Norwegian, um, hotels, M- the MGM, 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 MGM Group, um, Hilton Hotels, they're really good because like everyone needs hotels. Yeah. So and now yeah. everyone's starting to go. The hotels are going to open up soon. So yeah, exactly. So yeah. So that so they're, they're really good investments to do. But if you're looking for like really risky, quick returns, like if you're that kind of person, then I'll definitely say energy sector. Like some companies will survive, some won't. Um, but let's take a look at the balance sheet, as I said, see how much cash reserves these company companies have. But um, yeah, some companies will definitely not survive in the energy sector. So if you're looking about maybe oil, oil features, that kind of stuff is really good for like high, ri- high risk, high reward kind of mm-hmm. scenarios. But that's what I would advise. Or actually, even looking into, even Apple is good if you're quite a safe bet. Looking at buying stocks into Apple, they're quite good. Like they're quite a good company to buy stocks into because right now they just, they basically have so much money. That was they literally find that we're pretty much like one of the few companies in the market that's, that's buying their own stocks because they've got like um they have, they have so much cash in the in the economy. But yeah. <laughs>